Before we get into this video, I want to give a special shout out to every single one of my Patreons. Without you guys, videos would, like this would not be possible. I really do appreciate you guys and appreciate your continued support. It's so awesome to have so many people backing up your dream, trying to help or helping you live out your dream. And I love giving you guys content. With that being said, I want to welcome our newest Patreon, Niall Jadoon. Welcome to the clan, boss. I really hope you enjoyed your continued stay in this Patreon community. It is so awesome. Now with that, out of the way, let's talk about this Dragon Ruler versus Trickstar matchup. Now, Dragon Ruler is a four-year-old deck debuting in around 2013, 2014, so it might be five to four years old, and is seen as one of the best decks of all time. Hands down, no discussion by a lot of players. So how will it fare against a Trickstar Sky Striker deck that is one of the newest additions to the metagame? It is a pretty powerful deck. Analysts predict that Trickstar Sky Striker will get blown out of the water, activating cards like Reincarnation, banishing every single Dragon Ruler, and not only giving Dragon Rulers advantage in that sense, but also allowing them to draw more cards. They also predict that Dragon Rulers just have pure strength over Trickstar, but something that I would like to argue, or other analysts would like to argue, is that Trickstar is a burn deck inherently, and Dragon Ruler is a search draw deck, giving the ability to burn out Dragon Rulers before it can actually get deeper into its combos. It's going to be a really exciting matchup to watch, and I'm going to be really excited to commentate on this. I'm the Cali Effect, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. But more importantly, go ahead and hit that notification bell, because, well, we just too strong. Also, if you guys want to buy the cheapest card from your favorite Yugi tuber, you guys can check me out on Instagram, TCG Player, or Google Documents down below in the description. As well as be sure to add yourself on the Discord for more Cali Effect wackiness. So without further ado, I present to you a Battle of the Gods series between both of the strongest decks of all time versus an up and newcomer that just might be a really, really highly regarded deck when the dust is settled. Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, I apologize for not getting you guys from cards from Cybernetic Horizon, but we do have a Dragon Ruler versus a Trick Star Sky Striker Battle of the Gods bout. This is going to be extremely exciting to watch. I am very excited to see how this pans out. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Gold Sarcophagus banishing a Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms from my deck and then activating its effects. Keep in mind, all of the Dragon Rulers have a special ability or a couple of special abilities that are imperative to each other. First of all, they can be special summoned by banishing two monsters of either their attribute or a two dragon monsters, either any combination of from your hand or graveyard to special summon themselves. The next best thing about them is that when they are banished themselves, they get to add one dragon monster of their specific attribute from your deck to your hand. The babies also have the same effect of discarding themselves from the hand to the graveyard, as well as a dragon or monster of that attribute to special summon the dragon from the deck, but it cannot attack for that turn. I'm going to go ahead and start off by summoning two Dragon Rollers to make Mega Fang on each Draco Sack with two tokens on my side of the field and a card phase down. Now, this is a pretty standard play for Dragon Rollers, and people are like, what's so powerful about that? Well, Draco Sack used to not have any outs whatsoever. The ability to get over Draco Sack was pretty problematic, especially since it can be destroyed by card battle or card effects. But when you couple that with Vanity's Emptiness, a card that doesn't recognize tokens being sent to the graveyard because they aren't, uh, the ability to soft lock your opponent from special summoning, as well as have a 2600 beater on your side of the field, is pretty detrimental to any strategy. Especially compared with nowadays formats, they don't have as a lot of destruction as decks should have. Dragon Rulers can really feast on the ability to summon a monster that has incredible insane amounts of attack, as well as preventing the opponent from special summoning, meaning that there's no such thing as extra linking. Hell, there's no such thing as linking when Dragon Rulers around with Bad 80s Emptiness. This is putting Alex at a really bad situation. I can sit on Draco Sack for days, and if you just happen to get rid of Draco Sack, well, that's great. I have resources to make another Draco Sack. So it's not really in his favor at this point in time. Alex is going to go ahead and set a card face down and summon Lycoris in attack position. I'm just going to go ahead and attack with the Draco Sack. He's going to go ahead and chain uh, Trickstar Reincarnation. I'm going to banish my entire hand, and half of them seem to be Dragon Rulers. So it looks like some analysts were completely correct. Not only do I get to draw five or however many cards I banished, but I get my Dragon Rulers effect to search more cards. I think he was just trying to get damage in, trying to figure out how to get out of this, but it seems pretty futile. Uh, Vanity's Emptiness plus Draco Sack is almost a win condition against this Trickstar Sky Striker deck, so I'm going to go ahead and take game one. 
Going into game two, it didn't look too eventful for Trickstars. As much as they did try and did have great pieces put together, Vanity's Emptiness plus Draco Sack seems to be a pretty big dilemma. Now Alex is going to go ahead and summon Kandina, plays two Licorice monsters on the side of the field with two cards face down, and if those are reincarnations, he could be in for a huge surprise. Banishing cards from my hand to get me drawing cards? That's not great. He's going to go ahead and activate, I'm going to go ahead and activate Heavy Storm, hitting Scapegoat in Infinite Impermanence, and then I'm going to go ahead and use Super Rejuvenation with Card of Destruction for three. And Super Rejuvenation is a very, very important card to the strategy, just giving you guys a heads up. Reasoning being is because every Dragon Ruler or every Dragon Monster sent from my hand to the graveyard at the end phase, I get to draw cards. I don't really care about the effects of Lycoris at this point in time because he's just going to be able to do it anyway. So I might as well just get deeper into my strategy. But as you guys can see, I did not draw the best of hands. Alex is going to go ahead and make a Nightmare Cerebus. I'm going to go ahead and effect veil of that. Then he's going to make a Nightmare Unicorn. I'm going to go ahead and effect veil of that. There's not really much else he can do about that. <laughs> the ability to have monsters in my graveyard to fuel for my Dragon Rulers, but even more importantly, drawn to those ever so important hand traps that I needed to make this board or to make a follow-up board is going to be pretty strong. Alex is going to go ahead and consider his options and he's going to go ahead and scoop game two. Now, the analyst for Dragon Rulers just might be right. This just might infinitely be a better deck. So we're going to go ahead and add a little spicy addition to the Trickstar Sky Striker. We're going to allow them to play Max C since they're down by two and there's no real Mega Evolution. Let's just go ahead and see what they can do with Max C. Alex is going to go ahead and use his Sky Striker engine to make Shizuku uh, after making Gari. Then he's going to go ahead and summon Candida to his side of the field. Light Stage for Licorice to his hand. And he's pretty much set up the roll. This is a pretty good combo or this is a pretty good startup engine. Especially now that he has three Lycoris on his side of the field to inflict some maximum burn damage. Now this actually might be the downfall of Dragon Rulers. Look how Lycoris can inflict damage every time a card is added from the deck to the hand. And Dragon Rulers do add quite a few cards from the deck to the hand. So this burn damage is going to be good. He's going to inflict a massive amount of damage with his three Lycoris and Light Stage on the field. Then he's going to inflict more damage because I have to use the effects of Sacred Sword of 7 stars to banish a Dragon Ruler to draw two more cards. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Blaster's effect to search a Dragon Monster. And then he's going to activate Shared Ride. So now he's going to be able to draw cards as well as as well as well disrupt me. So it's going to be pretty uh, not advantageous for me to draw cards or to search cards from my uh, deck to my hand or graveyard to my side of the field. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the effects of Stream. To spell some title from my hand to the field. And keep in mind, I didn't discard a Dragon Ruler monster along with title. I discarded Burner. Meaning that I'm probably out of Dragon Ruler monsters themselves. Or I drew multiple copies of Burner. So now I'm going to go ahead and it looks like what it seemed to be. I have another Burner in my hand. Maybe I'm going to use that effect to summon another Dragon Ruler and just hope for the best. I already have 3,200 life points left. So this is definitely not a situation for me to be in. And this is actually showing how good Trickstars are. Now, yes, Dragon Rulers are a very strong deck. Even if we are using their Master Mole 3 mechanics, as well as, uh, uh, you know, having their older cards, meaning that they are a little bit outdated. But Trickstars are not to mess with. That burn capability is really powerful. I'm going to go ahead and summon Master of Blades, not trying to summon... A, uh, a monster to my side of the field. I think Master of Blades is a really good out to Trick Stars. It's a 2700 beater that punishes him from targeting cards. But on the downside, he still has three monsters on the field. So uh, Borload is still within the very realm of his possibility. And if he can make a Borload with some extra damage, that would be game. He's going to go ahead and do that, making the Borload Dragon, and then activate the Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. And now I'm in a very tough position. Mobilize Engage to summon a token, or to add uh, Widow Anchor. Actually, that's interesting. He probably already has the uh, token maker yes he does he's gonna activate hornet drones make a token then go ahead and make the car i'm just gonna go ahead and give it up trickstar sky striker proving that it is no pushover in this match and keep in mind while he did started to use maxi into this game he didn't use it until this very game meaning that trickstar sky striker is like literally a still pretty powerful deck uh he's gonna use maxi on me to spell summon tempest to my side of the build i kind of plan on making any other moves i think i'm just gonna go ahead and give it to him He's going to follow up on Hornet Drones for a token to his side of the build to spell summon Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Then Terraforming to add Light Stage from his deck to his hand. Light Stage to go ahead and add Lycoris from his deck to his hand. And now he's on a roll. He's going to normal summon Kandina. Kandina to add another Lycoris from his deck to his hand. And now we can get at least double Lycoris effects off. He's going to use both of those monsters for a Nightmare Service. Getting rid of my Tempest. And now I'm in pretty big trouble because now he can inflict some serious damage. Cerebus and then Lycoris. And then double Kandina for even more damage. That's going to be game, guys. Not really much else I can do. 
It looks like Trickstar Sky Striker has definitely evened the playing field. Both decks at two and two right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with activating Dragon's Ravine, and it's really exciting to see both of these decks battle at it. It's been a roller coaster ride. Dragon Roller scraping the first two games, Trickstar Sky Striker's clawing back and burning for the next two games. I think that these decks or a little more on common level that people like to agree with. I'm gonna send Blaster from my hand to the graveyard to send Title from my deck to the graveyard. It's gonna be a really awesome match, and we got the Somber Token going on. We got everything going on. This match is, like I said, it's just, I'm like filled with excitement because it's just so awesome to watch. And now, seeing what I can do next, what other cards I'm gonna activate to make a board. I'm gonna go ahead and use, oh, Title's Effect to banish both Blaster and Tempest using their effects to get burner and possibly what is there debris dragon maybe is there is there something maybe maybe the lower level uh yes i'm gonna add i lightning i think his name is lightning i'm gonna use lightning to discard burner to summon another dragon ruler and that's just a clear indication that i didn't have enough dragon ruler monsters in my hand i'm gonna detach with draco sack to spell summon two tokens is the vanities empty is gonna follow no it doesn't seem like the vanity empty is gonna follow us alice is gonna activate uh, terraforming to trickstar light stage now we still do abide by every single one of the rules in mass or of the rules of the deck was when it was introduced so for example i can spell some of monsters into my main monster zone because we're a master roll two i believe either two or three but when he activated the field spell card my dragon's ravine should have been destroyed because i'm personally in master roll two and that's how i would play Alex is going to go off, destroying my tokens and then using the service to get rid of my Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, but no. I got an effect failure for that. He's then going to go ahead and make a Nightmare Unicorn, bouncing the Draco Sack back into my deck. And then something Lycoris to his side of the field. It looks like, I think he already went through his battle phase getting over my tokens, but the Ly Lycoris is definitely for burn damage. I'm not sure if I use Ravine's effect again, but um, it would be really nice to know that I didn't use it because I'd be abiding by the Master Rule 3 and it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing it. I'm actually going to be banishing Tempest and a, another monster to special summon title. That's going to go ahead and add Debris Dragon to my side of the field. I'm going to normal summon the Debris Dragon. Debris Dragon effect to special summon. Oh my god, and I'm going to make Black Rose Dragon. Now, I'm not using Black Rose Dragon effect to destroy the board. Alice is going to go ahead and try to chain. Like I'm not using its vex. I'm not destroying the board. You can keep your tokens. I want you to keep your tokens. Be, be happy with your tokens. I'm going to attack over both of its monsters. And then I'm going to make Draco Sack on my main phase too. Now there's a real good reason why I didn't make Black Rose Dragon I have Vanity's Emptiness. And that's going to be game. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve for both decks since I am up by three. And this is the last possible game. I really want to show how do you guys feel or what would happen if Dragon Rulers were in their prime. Now this is going to be a little bit different from any other Battle of the Gods game. Because normally when we do Mega Evolve for certain decks... We show what the deck would look like right now. Now, we've had quite a few Dragon Ruler games to show you that Dragon Rulers are pretty powerful. We're going to add a little twist to it. I'm actually going to be playing That Grass is Greener at 3. And, of course, play a 60-card Dragon Ruler deck. So, it's going to be really interesting. They kind of push me. It's like, let's see what 60-card Dragon Ruler decks look like. And I'm not 100% sure still. I think there's a little bit... I don't think that this variant is still as powerful as the Dragon Ruler deck could be. So there are some mistakes made. I am playing a Sky Striker engine. I do think that Sky Striker engine is just ridiculous for Dragon Rollers. It really is. Being able to make monsters in the extra monster zone like Kagari, which is a blaster target, uh, 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 Shizuku, which is which is now a, um, a title target, and even the new one, I think his name is Hayate, which is a, a Tempest target, is just insane. It's really good to be able to make boards like this. Now, Alex does have Droll and Lockbird on the field, so he doesn't like me from doing much things. And I'm trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to make what I want to make. So, again, we're still, we were still in a bit of the testing phase. I really wanted to see how this deck will work, trying to figure out how I can get the appropriate monsters to my side of the field. I'm just going to go ahead and attack with my Dragon Roller monsters, attack with the Tempest, attack with the, what's the name, attack with the Shizuku, and not being able to add because Droll and Lockbird was in effect, passing it back. And, and what did I just see? Was that a free turn? Did Alex just pass his turn? Now, of course, he's going to activate the Max C in response to my Hornet Drones, but he literally just passed his turn. I'm going to banish some Dragon Rulers. He's going to Ash Blossom me, and I should be on a roll right here. Just, just the, the, the disrespect. The, did, you, did you just allow me to get a whole nother turn? Like... I mean, of course he did maxi me, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. 
I I'm going to take the maxi challenge. I'm going to go ahead and activate left arm offering, baiting the Ash Blossom Enjoy Spring, getting that grass is greener. And oh boy, if this grass is greener goes the way that it should, I'm going to be able to send as many cards as possible to win the game right here, right now. I'm going to go ahead and send enough cards. Unfortunately, I remember this game completely. This was the worst. And when I mean the worst, this was the worst grass is greener I ever milled. I think I milled just two Dragon Rulers. I only had two Dragon Rulers to mill with. Any other Dragon Ruler would have been enough for me to get game, but I didn't have enough to make a game situation, which was very, very disappointing. I, I was just, I was really disappointed at what he can do. So I'm going to go ahead and make Space Entity later. And then I'm going to summon a Dragon Ruler back to my side of the field. And I think I already used one of my Dragon Rulers in the Ash Blossom, but it didn't matter. Um, I'm also going to... Okay, okay. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Space Sense literally on my side of the field. That's 1,200 damage guaranteed. Trying to figure out what effects that I did use, what effects I didn't use. We have quite a few Dragon Roller monsters, or quite a few cards in the graveyard. And as you guys can see, the board just not isn't looking hot right now. It's not looking how I wanted it to look, even though it could look so much better. That grass is greener, didn't get me much. So I'm going to go ahead and pass my turn. Just like, oh, you can't OTK me. I'm going to activate Hornet Drones to the response of his destruction or his light stage to my back row. And I was going to get Candida the Lycoris. Lycoris to attack over the Insulator. Get double Lycoris to the side of the field. Intact for some major damage and then set two cards face down. He's going to pass his turn. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to break this board. Which shouldn't be too hard. But just the fact that I didn't have enough Dragon Rulers. Or, uh, or the right Dragon Rulers that I needed was pretty disappointing. I'm going to banish for Blaster. Then I'm going to banish for Tempest. Then I'm going to attack over his monsters. Taking a really subtle approach to this now i'm gonna make galaxy tomahawk tomahawk for five tokens those five tokens to make the or two of those tokens one of them actually i'm sorry <laughs> we're gonna make the glee fort genius and then we're gonna make the proxy dragon then we're gonna make the link spider and then i'm pretty sure we're gonna make saryuja because our turn is pretty much over we really don't have anything now i think that i didn't play this particular game uh as good as i should but then again this is a completely new dragon ruler build entirely different than what it should be and to be honest i probably think the 40 card variant is just stronger like relying on grass is greener for this particular deck doesn't reward you the same results as you would think it would so now i'm going to summon tempest and red ox to my side of the field using both of those monsters for a master of blades because draco sack just didn't feel right then activating a super rejuvenation on end phase alice is going to go ahead and use scapegoat special summoning four tokens to a side of the field and then he's probably going to follow up with a borlo dragon of his own which means that I am in deep trouble. Borlo Boy is just really powerful right now. One of those monsters for a Link Spider, maybe? Link Kribo. And then two of those monsters, yep, for the Nightmare Phoenix. Then using all four for the Borlo Boy. And then Borlo Boy to be placed under my... Nope, he's going to place it in the extra monster zone. Now he's going to summon Candina. Candina more than likely to add Lycoris. No, he's going to actually add Lily Bell. And then Lily Bell gets to summon herself. So yes, he's putting up for some damage on the board. It's going to be game. He actually does enough to OTK me right then and there. That was crazy. I'm sorry to get the footage for you guys. My camera actually messed up on it. But he actually had the footage to OTK full power Dragon Rulers with, yes, that's right, grass is greener. So that's just to show you that Trickstar is not a pushover, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start off with card destruction, discarding our entire hands to the graveyard. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how in a 60 card deck I've drawn Light and Darkness Dragon. But I was really aiming to make a Light and Darkness Dragon type board. And unfortunately, I drew the Light and Darkness Dragon. So it, it wasn't really that much of help. I needed it, you know, in my deck still. So I can banish it. So I'm going to go ahead and summon Tempest to my side of the field. And then I'm going to use Streams Effect. Or no, am I using Streams Effect? I'm sorry, I'm going to add Stream with Title. <coughs> and then I'm going to use Stream discarding the Light and Darkness Dragon. Two spells summon title. Now we're going to go right into the uh, Galaxy Tomahawk play. That's right. Going in and make the Cleefort Genius. And then making the the Proxy Dragon, the Link Spider, and then make the Nisaryuja. Drawing four cards and then putting three to the bottom of my deck. Wishing I could have actually made the Saryuja without discarding the Light and Darkness Dragon, but at that time I had to. I'm going to use Super Rejuvenation for eight cards. That's right. Eight cards. That is insane. That is wild. Super Rejuvenation for 8, and then follow up with the Vanity's Emptiness. Oh my god, this deck is a monster. It is a complete terror. This is why I say that you don't need Grasses Greener for this deck to be able to compete. 
just be able to draw cards throughout your deck with the cards like Saryuja. I can actually manipulate double Saryuja to my side of the field to draw into Vanity's Emptiness and then set up some really, really nasty plays. So it's like really hard to deal with this deck. He's going to pass his turn. I'm going to activate Gold Sarcophagus to banish Maxi. And yes, that's right. I banished Maxi. That was just to get the Vanity's Emptiness off of my board. I'm very confident I can put game on the board right here and right now. And it's not looking pretty for Alex because just the confidence in, in, in what's it, in, in, in activating Gold Sark for Maxi. I'm going to go ahead and summon Blaster to my side of the field. I think he actually Maxied me himself, myself. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pitch for game. He's drawing all of these cards. Uh, I'm summoning the Breeze Dragon, the Breeze Dragon for Lightning. And, and now I have a full-fledged board. I could go for game right now, but I am not... I'm that really, I'm skeptical of what else he has. He seems really confident into this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing and pushing. I have to make a bigger board, a better board. Plus, some of my Dragon Roller Monsters can't attack. They were actually summoned through the effects of the babies. So we're not in the best position to swing for game at this current time. So I'll have to make some XC synchro plays. So going into what I can do next, I'm going to use the Tempest and the Blaster for a Link Summon of Nightmare Cerberus to get rid of the token less monsters for me to deal with and i get to discard a card to draw a card the next thing i'm going to worry about is banishing the summon blaster back to my side of the field and then using the breeze dragon and lightning to smash summon a monster from my deck to my side of the field that's going to be i think it's the fa synchro monster that i summon because it's just so good that's actually enough for game but i'm just gonna go be safe to sorry we're gonna summon another tempest then we're gonna attack he's gonna chain double lycris but it's not enough dragon rulers win in game seven thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the cali effect i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a like let us know what you think about battle of the gods please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy i hope you guys are having a great day like i am